Hi, I'm Mark. Welcome to my channel. This is my 1975 Honda CB554, which I bought on eBay and paid £2,500 for. Right, I'll do a quick sweep round of the bike. This is pretty much the condition that I got it in. Um, this I'm filming this after I rebuilt the carbs. Um, both side panels have been resprayed at some point. Um, the tank's the original paint, um, all sun bleached. It's got a tiny little ding in it there, and it's quite rusty inside. Um, I'll do a separate video of the tank. Um, looking like the genuine mileage though, quite possibly. Uh, the throttle was completely seized when I got it. Um, I've managed to unseize the cables, but it sticks. It's bad, so it doesn't spring back. But it's enough, enough to get it running. So um, I've got new grips to go on there, new throttle tube and new cables later on. Front brake completely seized. So I've got a rebuild kit for the master cylinder and the caliper. Um, chrome work looks pretty good, the frame looks pretty good, the exhausts are in pretty good condition. I don't think they're the original ones because they've got CB500 stamped on them, not CB550. The seat's in really good condition, there's just like a little rip on it down the bottom. So hopefully that will just clean up. The indicators are a bit wonky, so um, got some work to do there. Um, yeah, sort of about it. The wheels got a little bit of corrosion on, hopefully I can clean them up. Right, and on here is the sticker. That'll focus. So it was last on the road, 1989. So it's quite possibly not run in 30 plus years. And looking at the carburettors, um, could be true. Could be true. Um, you'll see the carburettors in a minute. Um, yes, I did use a blowtorch to heat them up to get the sliders out. Um, they were really seized and I don't have an ultrasonics cleaner so I just just did what I had to do to get them out basically um, and when I started it I used the original battery that had two volts on it and I managed to get some sort of charge but the battery was pretty much flat by the time I actually got to start it so I had to use the Kickstarter quite a bit um, yeah so that's it so um, Here's a video of the carbs. Right, let's get these carbs stripped down. Throttle's completely jammed. I mean like completely jammed. That's bent up a bit. All the sliders are seized. Varnish. Right. Yeah. Ew. God, that's solid in there. Don't know if that will focus. Anyway. I don't know if you can see that, that's gummy. Hmm, more varnish. Varnish again.
cleaned them all up. They're uh, looking a bit better now. Well, that's as clean as I can get them anyway. Um, yeah, that one's a different car body because I damaged the inside taking out one of the emulsion tubes. So that one's a different one. Um, yeah, one of the slow jets was broken as well. Hold on, there's one. So you can see a little bit there that had broken off, so I had to drill that out in one of the carbs. So let's get these bad boys together.
that's the carbs done. I think. I think. I think they're all there. Carbs are in. They're a pain. They're a real pain to get in. Hopefully I've put them together properly. Time will tell. Um, what else? So, I'm going to drain the oil out of it because I don't want to run it or even turn it over with that oil in. It smells of petrol anyway. Um, what else? I'll take the spark plugs out and check them. Um, and then I guess connect the battery up. See if it catches on fire and if it doesn't, see if I've got spark and uh, put some new oil in it. See if I can get some oil pressure and if we get that far, put some fuel in it. I can't run it off the tank at the moment because the tank's rusty and the pet cock needs reconditioning and all that, so I'll just do it on an auxiliary tank. This uh, ignition switch is uh, been modded. It's been brought up to the handlebars and normally, it goes on this bent bracket here. So, and look, that's just focus. Yeah, that's just um, been twisted together, insulation tape, all the same color wires. Yeah, I'm going to move the switch back to the original position. Um, what else is there? And when I got the bike, this, these carbs, this choke was bent over, this was all pushed back, this was out of this boot, um, it must have been knocked or something, and this whole um, carb mounting plate was bent, so it was like, <clears throat> so that was all bent, and yeah, so um, I've straightened all that out, yeah, see, see how it goes.
Now in part one, I got it running. Hooray! But it wasn't running <coughs> great. So today I'm going to be doing a compression test and a leak down test. And also um, look at the ignition system as well. Hmm. Hi, I'm Mark. Welcome to my channel. This is my 1975 Honda CB550 4 that I got from eBay for two. Ah, uh, bollocks. <sighs> Thank you. 